an aeroplane when flying at a height of 3125 meters from the ground passes vertically below another plane at an instant with the angles of elevation of the two planes from the same point on the ground are 30 degrees and 60 degrees respectively the distance between the two planes at that instant is options also given to us 6520 6000 5000 or 6250 so what do we do let us say this is the uh, ground level right now he says an aeroplane which is flying at a height of 3125 right let's say this is the first aeroplane a1 right it is flying at a height of how much 3125 this is 3125 this distance from the ground okay uh, from the ground passes vertically below another plane so another plane is flying on top level right at this level so at one point it passes vertically below another plane let's say this is the second plane a2 it is vertically below that plane right it passes vertically below another plane at an instant when angles of elevation of the two planes from the same point on the ground angles of elevation of the two planes from the same point on the ground are 30 degrees and 60 degrees respectively so let's say this is the point on the ground g now the angle of elevation of these two points a2 and a1 from the ground are 30 and 60 respectively so this is uh, let's say 30 degrees and this is 60 degrees let's assume this distance is h or the distance is d between these two planes right this is 60 degrees he is asking us to find out the distance between the two planes at that instant. D is equal to what? Now, there are two triangles. We can apply tan theta in both the triangles and find out the distance D. Like, like for example, let's say this is G dash. So, if you consider the triangle G, G dash, A dash, what do we see? Tan 30 degrees, which is equal to tan theta, you know, is opposite side by adjacent side. So, 3, 1, 2, 5 divided by, let's assume the distance here is, uh, x 3125 by x so we can say x is equal to 3125 by tan 30 how much is tan 30 1 by root 3 right 1 by root 3 or nothing but 3125 root 3 all right and this is overall 60 degrees not alone now if you look at the triangle g g dash a2 right a2 what do we get this is not a dash this is a1 sorry what do we get tan 60 degrees is equal to opposite side opposite side is 3 1 2 5 plus d by adjacent side adjacent side is x and x we have already calculated right x comes out to be 3 1 2 5 by root 3 you can substitute it here what is tan 60 by the way root 3 so we can say root 3 equals to 3 1 2 5 plus d by x is nothing but 3 1 2 5 root 3 so simplify this what will be the value of d here 3125 root 3 into root 3 is equal to 3125 into 3 how much is 3125 into 3 9375 9375 minus 3125 so that comes out to be 6250 that's your answer okay 6250 option d